Hey, I just got the newest edition of the Weird Fiction Review from Centipede Press. <laughs> Hold up the book, Lou. Hey, I just got the newest edition of the Weird Fiction Review from Centipede Press, and I wanted to do a quick video overview for anyone who hasn't seen one before, like me, I didn't know what I was missing out on. Um, I do a lot of reading on Kindle, but this is something you're going to want a print copy of, trust me. It's that good. But, oh, before I get started though, wearing the uh, do-rag in tribute to Mr. Scott Nicolay, a great weird fiction author, as I'm sure everybody knows. Also host of The Outer Dark, the premier weird fiction podcast. If you're not listening, you need to get it on your subscription list. It's excellent. A word of warning with the Outer Dark podcast, though, if you start listening, it's going to increase your book buying exponentially. Anyway, let's take a look at the Weird Fiction Review from Centipede Press. Okay, first of all, what a great cover. It's a riff on the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's album cover, obviously. You've got 73 different Weird Fiction authors featured, and if you flip to the inside of the front cover, they've got a legend that tells you who everyone is, just like in the original Sgt. Pepper's album cover. Neat idea. Here's a look at the table of contents. It's broken down into sections, uh, starting with fiction. Got some great stories there from authors like Richard Gavin. And then there's some wonderful articles on different topics. We'll go over a few of those in the review. And then there's a section on art, film, interviews, a column, and some poetry. Starts off with this really wonderful article on the old spook shows that took place back in the 50s, 60s, 70s and some wonderful artwork as you can see. That's why you want this thing in print. I mean, the artwork is uh, reproduced just wonderfully. It's just beautiful to look at. Next, we have an article on L.B. Cole, an artist, editor, art director, publisher, producer uh, from the past and uh, some of his work. Here's an article on David Lynch's Mulholland Drive movie a really in-depth article on that film with some images from the movie. Here's a look at uh, the section on the artist Christopher Kahn and his beautiful artwork. And there's some other wonderful articles in here as well. I'm not going through all of them. I'm just kind of trying to show you the ones that have artwork especially just to show you how beautiful the book is. Next up is a wonderful article on collecting Robert E. Howard by John Butler. It's got tons of wonderful illustrations and it's a real fun read. I was really happy to see this article on William Mortensen, a photographer and artist whose work I really appreciate. Then we have another fun article on the old blacklight posters from Marvel from the 70s by the great Laird Barron, no less. And then we have an interview with Clive Barker. And there's also an interview with T.E.D. Klein as well. And to end the book, there's an article on Forgotten Masters of the Weird Tale. I'm going to give this name a shot. Nixon de Hollis. I don't know if that's close or not. But anyway, uh, interesting read. I never heard of that author, so I'm going to have to look him up. Anyway, that's a little overview of the Weird Fiction Review number six from Centipede Press. I know I'll be getting each edition from now on. It's a super book, a lot of fun, a lot of variety, highly recommended.